My name is Parvi Rumpo from San Samuel School. Today I'm going to talk about analysis of solar and daily particles measured by a neutron monitor with a different day times. First, the introduction. I'm going to talk about what is a neutron monitor, day time and particles. Next is procedure. I'm go it's about how I analyze these data and the program that I use. Following with the result and last is acknowledgement. What is a neutron monitor? A neutron monitor or an M is a ground-based detector for measuring the number of the particles that come to Earth. There are two types of monitor. The first one is this neutron monitor and another one is their neutron counter. The difference between these two is a bare neutron counter is a late free neutron monitor. The apartheid neutron monitor has two different date times, long date time and short date time. Date time is the period of time occurring after the neutron monitor has already measured one event, then another event will not be able to be recorded. Long date time or LDT is 1.2 milliseconds in short day time is 10 microseconds. Particles. The particles that come to Earth originate at the Sun and other part of the galaxy. The particles from the Sun are called solar energetic particles and the particles from other part of the galaxy are called galactic cosmic rays. Most of the particles that come to Earth are galactic cosmic rays. But in solar storm even, the solar particle flux may greatly increase and can distinguish from the, sol from the galactic cosmic ray. We received the data from the solar storm event on 14th of July 2000 and 28th of July 2005. The, the solar storm solar storm event can disturb TBS and can penetrate satellite electronics and cause electrical failure. But solar storm doesn't cause too much commotion on Earth. Particles. The particles can be distinguished by using the level of energy to low energy particles and high energy particles. First one is low energy particle. Low energy particle when it comes to Earth. They will spiral around the Earth's magnetic field, which is the yellow line in this picture. But it can move in the same direction as the Earth's magnetic field or in the opposite direction. This is why we have the neutron monitor in the North Pole and in the South Pole. The apartheid neutron monitor is in the North Pole. Low energy particles also create a, an aurora. Next one is high energy particles. High energy particles can, can come to Earth directly, but most of them still transmit through North Pole and South Pole more than the other more than the other part of the Earth. Most of them are proton. High energy particles often create secondary particles, create a secondary particles tower. The particle that we can measure by a neutron monitor is one of the result of the secondary particle shower. LDT can monitor only the first high energy particle, but SDT can monitor some of the other secondary particles. Procedure. After I got the data from a high energy neutron monitor station, I use Microsoft Excel to analyze this data and these are the data that I received. You can see that normally the galactic cosmic ray or VG in this picture are much higher than flux or the, the solar energetic particles. These are the data from 2000, um, 28th of January 2005. You can observe that the, the number of particles in 6.55 are much higher than the average, that is when the solar storm event happened. 
we can distinguish the particle from the particle from the sun or an other part of the galaxy by create a trend line from short period before and after the the solar storm event and subtract from the cut rate in solar storm event in this year is since 6.55 to 23.55 which is the last count late in, in that day these are graph from 2000 from both day times it show us how the number has changed since 13 of July to 16 of July you can see that the number in 14 of July are much higher than the other day that is when the solar storm even happened and these are from 2005 the solar storm is on 20 of January and after that we will find the answer in D by using this equation delta L is, is mean the uncertainty of the ratio delta L is standard deviation of data from LDT and delta S is standard deviation of the data from SDT L and S are the count rate from in each 5 minute from both data LDT and SDT and after that we will plotting in the ratio in the graph with error bars this is the result these are the result from 2000 you can see that at the beginning the value of ratio are lower than the other it's because of the solar storm event created both low and high energy particles but high energy particles can come to earth faster than low energy particles so SDT can monitor some of them but LDT cannot but when low energy came later so the ratio will higher than at the beginning and this are graph from 2005 compared between two years both are graph in five minutes from 2000 and 2005 you can see that uh, ratio in 2000 are increasing faster than to in 2005 it's because of speed weather variability around the earth if the earth's magnetic field are disturbed in the direction of the particles will change and it's create more diffusion which makes the, the particles came to earth lower Solar storm in 2005 is the most intense solar storm in the kit. The purpose is to predict another event by measure how low and high energy particles are different. Thank you.